Facing issues while building websites is not something unusual and something unique to you. It happens to everyone and for various reasons. Let me show you how to deal with issues that you may experience when working with Dividend Pro. Before doing anything else, I highly recommend going to the Tutorials tab and watching the First Steps videos. This will help you a big time, I promise. One of the most frequent questions we get is about saving and loading layouts. If you do not see the save button at all, that can be due to two reasons. The first one is caching. Make sure to deactivate any caching plugins and team caching. To do this, go to Divi Team Options, scroll all the way down and deactivate Minifine Combine CSS files and Minifine Combine JavaScript files. Also, go to Builder Advanced. Here disable static CSS file generation. Finally, go to Dividend Pro and under the Layout Finder tab, make sure to hard reload the page. If you are on Windows, Ctrl plus F5 should do the trick. For Mac users, press Command plus Shift plus R at the same time. The second reason for not seeing the save button may be because you are checking the Divi Team Builder templates. These templates can only be downloaded and imported via DV Team Builder and can't be directly saved to the library. If saving just isn't working and it is taking too long, this may be due to your server settings. Go to Dividend Pro System Status tab. If you see any warning signs, make sure to fix it. Contact your hosting support and ask them to help you with that. Make sure to set your server settings as per our recommended values. Loading layouts is another stumbling rock oftentimes. Sometimes you save a layout to the library, but you can't load it on a page, so what's going on? This is most likely because Divi differentiates between layouts, sections and modules. When you're on a page, you need to make sure to use the right option. If you want to load a complete page layout, you need to go to this purple button here and click the purple plus icon. If you want to load a section, then you want to click the blue plus icon. And to add a module, you need to make sure to open a raw, you can add a new one or use an existing one, and then insert the module by clicking the gray plus icon. That's it for this video, thanks for watching.